Infrastructure management automation tools have become a must-have in the enterprise today, and many organizations have adopted Progress Chef as the automation tool of choice due to its usability, performance, and scale. Chef Automate provides management and observability with real-time interactive dashboards, role-based access controls, and many third-party integrations. Chef InfraServer stores cookbooks and policies which are applied to nodes within the infrastructure. These components work side-by-side -side and can be installed on the same server or, in many organizations, deployed standalone. However they're deployed, they should be deployed with availability in mind. That's where the Progress Kemp Loadmaster comes into the picture, providing high availability, resiliency, and performance for Chef. By being deployed in front of multiple Chef servers, the Loadmasters can distribute traffic across these instances to ensure proper utilization of system resources. In the event a Chef server is taken out of service, either by scheduled maintenance or perhaps some unplanned outage, the Loadmaster can direct all traffic to the remaining servers to eliminate any downtime. Publishing Chef Automate and InfraServer on the Loadmaster can be accomplished with ease using the Progress Application Template for Loadmaster. In this demonstration, I'll walk through a typical deployment of two Chef Automate servers using an application template to configure the Progress Kemp Loadmaster. Progress provides application templates for many different applications and solutions. These can be downloaded from the support site at support.kemptechnologies.com. Just navigate to Downloads, Loadmaster Templates, Progress, and then select the Chef Automate and InfraServer template. From this page, the template will automatically download, plus there's a link to the deployment guide to assist with the use of the template. So now that I have the template downloaded, I can connect to my Progress Kemp Loadmaster. I'll navigate to Virtual Services and Manage Templates. I'll select the Chef template I downloaded and import it. Now I need to create a virtual service. The virtual service will require an IP address that users will use to access the system. And I just need to select the, in this case, the Automate template and click Add Virtual Service. This template creates two virtual services. The first virtual service is a redirect to ensure all traffic is directed to the secure port of 443. The second virtual service is where the application settings are configured for Chef Automate. Since all the settings were applied using the application template, the only thing you have to do is add the Automate servers to the virtual service. So I'll just modify the virtual service, navigate to Real Servers, click Add, enter the IP address, and I can leave the port as 443, and click Add Real Server. And I'll just do that for the second Automate server. And that's it. Chef Automate is configured and ready to provide always-on access to the infrastructure management automation solution. For more information, visit us at progress.com.